Hello everybody, how you feeling today? Welcome to creatingwebsite.org, where our mission is to teach you how to create a website. And today we want to walk you through the step-by-step -step process on how to install WordPress using iPage. Maybe you're a new iPage customer and you're having a challenge installing your WordPress. We're going to walk you through that step-by-step. -step. All right, first thing you want to do is you want to sign up. If you have not signed up with iPage, you go to iPage.com and you click sign up. Hopefully you have a domain in mind that you want to use. What a domain name is, is what people will type in this search bar here to find your blog or your website. For example, Facebook.com, Google.com, uh, Yahoo.com. So let's say I'm selling shoes and I want mine to be my shoes are the best.com. So we're going to see if it's available. Hey, it's available. Good stuff. All right, so we just added it, and we're going to go to checkout. Okay, so we want to choose the one year. It's up to you. You can choose one year, two year, three years. We're going to say we want to choose the one year plan at twenty three eighty eight. Includes free hosting with plan. Okay, and say we want to do one years of the domain name. So now. We don't want domain privacy. That'll save us another $9. So now we got the essential hosting plan. My shoes are the best. Came free because we choose the year plan. With any year plan with iPage, you get a free domain. So our total will be $23.88. You go ahead and click continue. Now if you already have an account, you could bypass all this. Then it's going to tell you to fill out your information. Then you hit continue. And you once you check out, it's going to send you an email. So I don't want to check out because I don't want to sell shoes. <laughs> okay. So once you've set up your account or you maybe already have an existing account, let's show you how to install WordPress. You're going to go to log in. Okay. Once you log in, it's going to take you to your control panel. Now, once you set up your account, they're going to email you your username and password that you will use to log in. So go ahead and type that in, and it's going to take you to this page here, which is Control Panel. To install WordPress, you want to go where it says WordPress right here. And you want to click Explore Mojo Marketplace. And you want to click Install. Once again, we're showing you how to install WordPress using iPage. Okay, the domain name we want to choose is MakeYourOwnWebsiteCoach.org. Yours will be whatever one you set up your hosting account with. Then you're going to click check domain. And iPage is great. I mean, it comes with unlimited bandwidth, unlimited emails, unlimited disk space. So it's a really good place to host your website. And it's very cheap, $1.99 a month. So it's going to go ahead and uh, install. Okay, now it's telling me that it looks like I have files already. I'm going to go ahead and click continue. If that shows up for you, you can click continue. I'm going to select these boxes here. And this is going to be my password and my username. So I'm going to click install now. Okay. All right. So it tells you your progress here at the top. It says your installer is underway. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and be back when it's done installing. Okay, once it's installing, you want to go ahead and view your credentials. You want to click that. And your WordPress install is finished, so you want to click view. Okay, this is your website right here. If you click that, it'll take you to your website. It says website coming soon. I'll show you how to fix that. And this is where you're going to log in to your WordPress dashboard. And then you want to go here and copy your password. And paste it here. Get your email and paste it here. Then you're going to click login. Now, the challenge you're having is when people type in your domain, this is popping up. For some reason, this is a default with iPage. Oh, there we go. We got it to work. So you go ahead and hit refresh and it pops up. But sometimes it doesn't. Uh, change like that and I want to show you how to get rid of that default page you would go here to your plugins in case yours is not showing up 
I've had that challenge in the past. You go to Mojo Marketplace and you deactivate it. And then once you hit deactivate, you want to hit delete. Then you can go ahead and delete all those files. This is just in case your website is not showing up. But it's showing up. Okay? But in the case it, it would have gave you that page coming soon, that's how you get rid of that page by deleting Mojo Marketplace. So now you have your own blog. And WordPress has been installed to your new site. Let me show you how to put a theme real quick and then I'll be done. To put a theme, you want to go to Appearance, Themes. And you could choose from a lot of themes here, whatever theme you like. Uh, there's a ton of themes. Let's just pick one. Let's just say we like uh, this one. So you click Install. Okay. Hit Activate. Then you want to go to your website or blog. Hit Refresh. And there's your new site. Isn't that awesome? It's all set up and ready to go. So whatever theme you choose from here, that's how your site will look. Once again, to add a theme, you go to Appearance and you go to Themes. Okay, and then you hit Add New Theme and it will give you a choice of all kinds of themes. So we just quickly chose this theme here. You have a sample page and you have a home page. Okay, uh, let's choose another one real quick. I personally like the Vantage theme. So I'm going to go ahead and type in Vantage. I would really re recommend you to use Vantage. It's awesome. And then you just click Install. And this is how you change your themes in case you, you know, need a few times to find a theme that you like. Hit Activate. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and refresh our website or blog. And now we have the Vantage theme. Okay, so that's how you install WordPress using iPage. I hope this tutorial has helped you out. And if you need step-by-step -step videos on how to set up your website and, and, and add a lot of different pages and a lot of different features to it, we have a video that walks you through step-by-step -step process. You can go to www.creatingwebsite.org and click where it says Web Design Tutorials. We have websites that will teach you how to do a business website, a church website, ministry website, a music group website. Here it is right here. Walk you through step-by-step -step process. Once again, that's creatingwebsite.org. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.